Well, today is an exciting day. So we're finally gonna put the top on the charger, the vinyl top. This is only the second one we've ever done. So if you don't think we know what we're doing, it's possible that we don't. So what we do is we have uh, some center marks here. We measure between the two seams, get the center marks. We've got a couple reference marks all the way up. And we've got mark up on the roof. The roof is all in sealer. Uh, we didn't really see the need to waste paint up there. And then we have other marks, which maybe you can't see, but they relate to these seams. And so that when we go to spray this on, we'll, we'll actually mask off the roof to that mark, and then we can spray right, right to here, to here, and you'll, you'll see as I do it, so that you don't get more glue on than what you need, so that you're not sticking down in the spots you're not ready to stick down. So, we're gonna mask off on that line, and get the roof back up on there, and show you what happens next. All right, we're all prepped. We're getting ready to spray this. You can see we've got this masked off. Like I said, that's not really important, but it, it we have a section we want to glue. We want to glue just that section and no more. We've got our center lines lined up, and when we spray the glue on the roof, we'll just go to that seam, and we'll spray up to here, and before we actually put the roof down, we'll take this off. That way we have a nice clean edge. We can peel back up, apply the glue here, and down here, and be good to go. So this is what we're using for glue. It's a uh, 3M product. It's high strength, contact adhesive. Uh, we're not using, you know, a professional spray gun and all that. We're just using that. Should work just fine. And the big thing to know about the glue that we learned on the first roof we did was that when you think you've got enough glue on both surfaces, put more glue on. And then if you think you have too much glue on, go ahead and put a little bit more glue on. And then you should have enough glue. So we're gonna get this all sprayed and start laying it down. So my partner in crime, also known as Dad, heard me videoing and reminded me that we're actually gonna just spray the very center, about two inches on each side, or about you know maybe a three, four inch wide strip, and then lay down the roof smooth on that strip so that we have something established that way if you go to lay down the rest of it you're not going to slide the roof the whole thing off if we try to do this whole section there's a possibility that when we're trying to unfold that whole big piece we could move off our center line so just wanted to correct that so you guys don't you know do the wrong stuff if you're trying to follow this My father refuses to be in my videos. This is about as much as you're going to see of him. Uh, I think he's afraid the paparazzi will spot him, start tracking him everywhere he goes, become some big celebrity. So, yep, that's about as much of him as you're going to see. Wow, that actually went wet right through the whole moisture from the cold. Oh, is that what it was? Cold blue, yeah. You want one of them sticks? Or do you feel good about what you're doing? I think we want to probably fold it right back. Mm. Or do you want to leave it for a little while so the glue dries? We can leave it down for a few minutes. We'll leave it down for a few minutes. Let this glue really attach itself and then we'll peel it back up we'll spray that other section and get that down well we've got this one side of the top on just going around trying to you know smooth it out with our hands best we can uh, one one downfall of using the spray guns or the cans that we're using is they kind of spray and they leave like an edge and so 
you gotta kind of rub that down if you can but it's coming out pretty good so when this is all done we'll uh, bake it in the Sun for a little while and try to lay it down even better so we've got basically the whole uh, top of the roof is done like I said we divided it up we did the the center and then this side and that side it's looking pretty good looking really good now all that's left is just these sides so they come down here it's got this wing here oh you know that's got it all get glued down but you can see that the top looks nice where it is glued down so I'll update this again in a minute which won't be even a minute for you guys. Alright, I'm getting ready to lay down this section. I'm out here alone, so I won't be able to uh, record me actually doing it, but I've got it all glued. I masked off over here so I didn't get overspray of the glue on top of the roof. And I'm going just to here. And once that's all laid down, then I'll do this rear like wing section. You can see we have everything masked off. It was masked off when we sprayed the sealer, so we just kind of left it on. But, yeah, so let's hope that comes out good. This section's all on. Looks pretty good. You gotta keep kind of working it a little bit. You know, watch for anything that tries to pop up and just kind of smooth it out. You can work it for quite a while. But it's looking pretty good. This gets all trimmed right on the gutter. Hopefully I don't have any trouble getting the uh, the chrome back on here. It snapped. I know, I know when I took it off originally the vinyl actually wrapped over and then the chrome went over that. But it's kind of hard to get it down in here so hopefully it Hopefully it all comes out all right. So yeah, we're actually uh, getting there with this roof. Looking pretty good. So next I'll do this uh, rear wing section. And then I'll move over and do the other side. So before I go and put down this wing, I guess you could call it a wing. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. I've got some of the chrome and I've just kind of set it in place I'm trying to make sure that my masking is correct because the masking is going to dictate where the roof actually gets cut and uh, so what I'll do is I'll spray you know I'll take all this chrome back off and I'll I'll spray all this with glue then I'll remove this mask the mask that's here and stick the roof down and then peel it back up to where this line is I think I'll, I'll actually uh, spray the glue you know on both sides then I will remove this masking because this masking will all have glue on it and then I'll put down just one layer of new masking right up to the edge of the glue then I can pick the roof up and cut right to my my tape line that would be on here so that's probably gonna be the goal but it's important to get the the chrome on here to make sure that your masking is just right because there's some really kind of tricky areas like when you look in here it seems like yeah that it's probably masked right but it's actually not um, the roof would have been all the way down in here had I just gone ahead and 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 uh, sprayed it and I don't want that I want the roof to kind of only come down into here and go straight down here and stop it doesn't need to go all the way up here. So, getting ready to do this. Check back in a minute. Right, I've got the glue all sprayed on, just waiting for it to uh, cure up a little bit. Took the masking all off, you can see all the glue. But the masking tape can stick to the roof. I can peel it right up and I can cut right to the edge of the masking tape and be good. So. We'll give this a whirl. Alright. Well, the wing is all laid down. And see, I got see this one little spot here. 
Sometimes you'll get that, and uh, believe it or not, even the next day, you can still, you know, fix little little spots that didn't really want to stay down. See how it's staying, but it kind of comes back. Well, yeah, that's that's it. I'm going to let this adhere better before I go and try to cut my line. So I want to make sure it's really stuck really good. So while I'm waiting on that, I'll go back and I'll do the other side. So we're getting there. Roof's almost done. I've still got to trim it all, and then I gotta uh, put more adhesive on and roll all the edges. But I'll do all that when I'm completely done here. I hope that does stay down. I'll I'll show you later. See if it does. But yeah, it's it's a little tricky, but it's getting there. I got a little bit of glue on it here, but that will come right off. It's not a big deal. All right, so I'm making the assumption some of you probably actually want to watch this get done and not just see, you know, the before and after. So I've got this all sprayed down, all the way down to the, uh, the rear wing. I'm going to try to do the whole section in one pass, which I hope I don't, you know, uh, pay for that later. Hope that's not a huge mistake. Sorry if the camera angle's a little bit funny. I had to kind of position you guys up here. But the glue should be about dry now. Dry enough. It's time to struggle. it real slow trying to go just a little bit at a time Kind of just hoping I have it in a good spot. Something like this for me is based on hope. Because, <laughs> you know, I told you guys when I started this, this isn't something that I claim to really know what I'm doing with. It's definitely a little bit intimidating. Trying to get down in the gutter here is kind of tricky. Got this little wooden stick. Use that to try to help push, push down in here. It's definitely one of the trickiest spots to get into.
doing the whole wing in one shot was not a good idea. So I'm going to pull that back a bit and re glue it. Spray some more glue on there real quick. I think the fabric side's kind of okay. I don't know how well you can really see on the camera there. Still pretty, pretty tacky. Just gonna give that a second to tack up where I re-glued it. This looks super easy. Just remember the camera's a lie. All right, I am gonna continue to try to work this a little bit. Let me uh, turn the camera around real quick. There it is. So like I said, I'll continue to work this. Um, I gotta trim it a little bit, create some reliefs, keep pressing down anywhere that I'm not crazy about. This is an area where a little bit of steam also could help, but I don't really wanna use it. So I'll just keep smoothing it out, keep pushing on it. There it is. Nope. Oh, as the glue dries, the glue shrinks a little bit too, which is nice, because that's what you're kind of seeing a little bit, is the glue underneath it. But uh, yeah, the roof is essentially done. A couple spots, like I said, I keep they'll pop up, but they'll be they'll be done when I'm when I'm done. So next, I'm gonna trim it all up and uh, show you the results. All right, well, the roof is on. I've still got to take care of the edges. Uh, I have trimmed it though, but I still got to glue down, 
the very edges because it rolls down into the windshield like that. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty darn good. No real complaints. I trimmed these. They still got to be trimmed a little bit more. I'm probably eighth inch long, which is good. I would rather be, you know, cut it long first time. A little bit of glue on the car here. That'll come right off. Cut it long the first time and uh, have it be too short because you can't you can't add any back on. Still got a couple spots that are trying to pop up, but I think they'll lay down eventually. We'll see. Get this out in the sun. Put the sun bake on it. There you go. That's a charger roof. Vinyl roof. My first time I ever did one. It's dirty right now, obviously. I'm working it. But the next time I show it, all the chrome will be on. And we'll get to see what the whole car looks like. As one thing. You can see we got some of the chrome on this side. The car is really starting to look nice. And it's actually dirty right now. It's filthy. But If you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoy watching any of my videos, consider giving a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let's me know that you like the video. And uh, yeah, subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications whenever I make new videos. And just keep watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy all the different things I do. My channel is not just microgreens. It's not just cars. It's not just building things. It's everything I do. So I just I try to record it whenever I'm doing something I think is interesting. And I share it with you guys. So once again, thanks for watching.